What is up guys? Welcome back to Beat Stink Day. Guys, I am so excited as you guys can tell. We today has arrived and we are going to be installing this freaking thing right here, bro. These bad we got the new hell coming in. I mean coming in. They're already here. We're gonna do the opening, we're gonna take a look at them, and we're gonna install them at oh my god, I'm excited, I'm excited. But you already know how this shit goes on in this channel. We get excited, we bring a piece and some shit has to go wrong. So I'm already expecting something to go wrong, but without further ado, hopefully everything goes right. Make sure to give this video a like and I'm gonna try to recreate this video, but shout out to freaking Martin the GOAT. Uh, I had to watch his video to learn how to do this and without him I probably couldn't have done this so shout out to him He has a freaking sick ass blue g35 and he did a freaking perfect video So uh, I'm not trying to replicate it, but I'm just gonna do a video just because it's part of my life And I'm getting the lights and it's freaking sick. So but yeah but But uh, these are the LEDs got a LED. It's not much different. This is pretty much like the same the, the the light bulb but like i said it's got the stripe which looks freaking sick i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it already but um let's go ahead and install this see how, how hard it is i'm gonna try to guide you guys through it and without further ado let's freaking start these are retail around like 379 i got these on redline 360 and they came out to about like 408 dollars total so um yeah it's kind of pricey but hey i think it's gonna be worth it let's go ahead and install this and I can't wait to see them all, so let's go, let's go. All right guys, so first of all, to remove the headlights, I'm gonna use my phone right here because the other camera's beyond necessary, but before, there's some three, four bolts we have to remove here, but we have to remove the front bumper. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and I believe all you need is uh, a ratchet with the 10 millimeter. Because this car, I think, uses a lot of 10 millimeter. But, I mean, this is the one. 10 millimeter and uh, flat. Um, this is just to remove um, flathead uh, taps on it. And you also have to remove the grill. I forgot about that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this all set up. And I will show you guys step by step and just, like, where the things are at and what you need to do. So, all right, guys. So, for the grill, you basically just want to remove these. One, two, three, and four. I know you, you always got to show it a little love sometimes. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I always ask myself, are these freaking turbos? Are these are the turbos, bro? I got twin turbo. Anyway. All right, next, guys, you're going to want to remove these markers here. These are very easy. You just kind of. There you go. Then this one, you kind of. Okay, so, yeah, you just had to twist this. And then. Th oh, wait, this comes out. You can't really see here. Let me show you on the other side. There's some clips like this, exactly like this. All okay. That's that's a better view. Here are the clips. One, there's two right there, and three. But well, we're gonna take this off before right now. We're gonna actually dig under under the car, and we're gonna take off um the, uh, these right here. These right here, all around that. We're gonna take all those off and then the bumper should come off. And um, I don't know if it's just uh, this bolt you guys see here. This one right here that you guys have to take off. I'm not sure if it's that one or there's another one far deep in there. You guys can't really see that, but it's far deep in there. And I don't know if it's two of those, but we're gonna take all these bolts off, take the bumper out and yeah. All right guys, quick update for the, so it is this one right here. The, the very first one we took off, this one, you can take out with the 10 millimeter. But there's one all the way like back there. You have to really like open this up and reach it all the way back there. I think it's right here. This one right here. Uh, it's really hard to get that ratchet in there. So they're actually, they're cross bolts. Whatever they are. So you can grab one of these. This So this took it out super easy. Then after that, you go down under here. You unbolt this one in the corner. And literally just go like at the these bolts at the very edge all of these you take all of them off this bumper should come off easy should come off easy Oop. seems like it's still attached to something oh there it is now guys when it comes to removing the headlight i believe it's only this bolt right here that is attached to this one and this one and then this top one right here this one on the side here and if you guys ever get confused always look at the 
uh, headlamp you guys bought the the headlight and look at where it's attached and it's very it's gonna be identical to this because that's where it needs to get bolted on so this thing's actually on on here that clip is on there so with a screwdriver hold on with with a screwdriver you just kind of at the very edge and kind of push it out push it out and that and this should happen and then you just got to unplug that and unplug everything one more thing guys you want to make sure that all your uh wherever you're putting like a light bulb or anything is sealed in your headlight because if it's not sealed uh when it gets cold and hot and all that stuff you know humidity uh grows in the headlight and then you get all that moisture inside so you guys don't want that so make sure to seal all your stuff and uh without further ado uh yeah just a little quick tip this this and this is on there this is also you just got to twist and then remove it slowly now we got to remove this out to put in into the new headlight so we need this um this was attached to this the sensor is on here and the cable is attached to there but as you can see there's actually a bolt that holds it a little small and you got to unscrew that one so you can take the cable out and then take the sensor out now we got to take this out somehow so all right guys so we just got done putting everything down you guys can see right here got the light bulb we connected everything now, before I reassemble everything, you want to make sure you, you test it out to see if it works or not, like I said. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, reboot this car. Uh, reboot this car. What the hell is that? I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on on the, AC, on the ACC mode and uh, <clears throat> check this out. All right, so here we go. First look. Um, they look nice, yo. These are the LED lights. I'm going to show you guys the full look later at night um just so you guys can see a better contrast of how it looks at night but they work they look beautiful and i'm gonna give you guys a better overview of what it looks like later in the video all right guys so i just got done like i said installing the headlights and i'm gonna show you guys here the final look and i'm gonna do some dope ass pictures if you guys haven't followed me on be distinct go ahead and do that right now because i'm gonna post some of the most fire pics ever and you guys don't want to miss out go ahead be distinct down below go ahead you guys don't want to do that guys but and i appreciate all the support that you guys give me on instagram as well it's freaking awesome but i'm gonna show you guys the look right here hope you guys enjoy and here are the spec d tuning headlights on the g35 cool all right so my girlfriend's in the car she's gonna do all the clicking here's the car um so let's start off with the just the daylight running lights all right guys so i slapped on my nd filter so you guys can see the headlights and not it's not super bright it's like if i take it off it's like super bright you guys can see but with the nd filter it does the magic there you, there you go leds now do the all the way now these are your nighttime you just get that little headlight um focus right there you get the headlight but it pretty much looks the same it looks freaking awesome it's absolutely mean all right, now this is my favorite part. When you're turning lanes or something, turn, turn it up the right side. All right, guys, so that's the right one right there. Look how beautiful that is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do the left side. Ooh. And I've never, ever used the hazard lights, but I think I'm going to start using them more frequently because check this out. Use the button. Let's check this out, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is beautiful. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, you're good. Let's turn it off. All right, guys. So these are the Spec D tuning headlights. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. It looks freaking awesome. And I'm actually, uh, next video is actually going to be a cinematic shoot of my car with the headlights and everything. It's going to be a cinematic shoot. I'm going to try my best. Um, I have never, I do, I have done some like cinematic trying to like skits and stuff like that. But this is going to be complicated because it's a car and I'm going to require more people and rolling shots and all that stuff. But I'm going to try to my best to get a nice little cin cinematic film for you guys with the car. And uh, But yeah, but if you guys are interested on these headlights, you can find them on Redline 360. I know some people buy them on eBay. But I say just go with Redline 360. It's really official. It's safe and everything. They're 379 retail plus tax. It came out like $408 for me. Uh, but they're freaking worth it and if you guys know how to do all this mod shit of like doing the leda do it yourselves but um yeah i'm not really into it but they're freaking awesome but besides that thank you guys so much for watching the video slap this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for the support i'll catch you guys next video like i said with the cinematic film hope you guys enjoy i am gonna work for two weeks so i may be a little slow down but that's all right I stay active on my Instagram, so stay uh, active on my Instagram, be distinct, and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.